One of the most fascinating parts of the Pentagon report is this exploration of video footage of these unidentified flying objects. And they look really quite familiar to us because they look like the way we see spaceships move in science fiction. And I think it's no surprise that you can see these similarities because there's a long history of UFO reports that seem to really sound a lot like the kinds of spaceships that people are reading about in stories and watching on the silver screen. And this goes all the way back to the 1800s. So for instance, between 1860 and about 1900, there were a slew of the first modern UFO reports. And surprise, surprise, the way that people describe these UFOs, they looked a lot like the kind of airships that Jules Verne and his imitators were describing in science fiction. And this goes on for so long that even in the 1970s, even as people were still often describing UFOs as flying saucers, all of a sudden, UFOs were populated with little helper robots that looked an awful lot like R2-D2. And so you can really see how we even imagine the kinds of beings that might inhabit our UFOs. They're very much influenced by science fiction. I think the reason that we always have loved these stories is because aliens are mirrors to ourselves. And when we tell stories about aliens and the vehicles we, that they travel in, just like we travel in vehicles, it allows us to explore not just what we might do if we met truly different beings from other worlds, but also how to conduct ourselves as we meet alien others every day in our own lives, within our own families, within our own nations, and within our own world. A lot of people might think that if we were so fortunate as to encounter aliens in our own lifetime, that that would be the end of science fiction stories about UFOs and aliens. But really, if you look at science fiction, it's really the history of rolling with scientific uh, change and technological development. And so I'm pretty sure that we have already written so many different kinds of scenarios about aliens. What if they're friendly? What if they're not friendly? What if they don't care about us? What if we don't care about them? We feel like we're prepared for everything. And of course, what we know is that we won't be prepared for what really happens, right? And what happens will give us even more material to tell new kinds of stories, right? So not only will we have all of our own rich history of thinking through aliens and thinking through what we might do if we meet them, but we'll also suddenly have the aliens rich history of what it might mean to explore space and meet other aliens. And I can only think that that should be a science fiction artist's dream come true.